Hello guys welcome to my YouTube channel creativegraphics.com And let's see what I brought for you guys today. Today I am going to show you all about the pen tool in Filmora 12. A lot of people have asked me to explain this tool. So I made a video about it. So guys before getting started, please like this video. Okay let's start it. Okay guys I already added my video clip to the timeline. So let's mask this layer. First, select the layer and go to the mask tab. You can use any of these, so I use this pen tool. Okay this is the pen tool we use for drawing. So first if you are hard to draw a mask in this little area, you can drag this window and maximize it like this. Okay now you can draw your mask easily. So I need to draw a mask around this balloon. So I start here. Then I add a few points for this. Now you can see there is one point showing yellow. So that means that point you currently selected. So when you select one of these, it changes to yellow color. The next one is if you need to remove some points. For example, I select this point and you can see the pen tool icon change to minus. So you double click it. You can see it's removed. Also, you can use the backspace or delete button on the keyboard for this. So I continue the drawing mask. So now I have to draw a curve path. So guys if you want to draw a curve path, hold the alt key and you can see the pen tool icon change to three dots. Then drag it like this. See it's very easy to draw curve paths. So when you end the drawing you mask, you need to end it at the start point. So you can see now pen tool has not shown any icons. It means that a path closing point. So I close the path and you can see some places are not covered perfectly. So I adjust them like this. Also, you can move your mask after drawing like this. So you can see there is a circle icon in this mask. So you can rotate your mask using this icon. Okay then go to the settings. And you can change the mask range, mask feather, and mask opacity you like. So the next one is the tracking mask. So you can see when I play this, the balloon is moving. So I need to make the mask following this balloon. So go to the start and add the path keyframe. Then go forward and change it like this. Okay guys now you can see the mask moving with a balloon. Also, you can use invert mode to change the selected area. So I add another video to show the example. So guys if you need to draw multiple masks, click this add draw mask button. Okay you can see now it added a new mask layer. Then I draw my second mask around this mountain.
Okay now our both masks are showing like this. So the next one is when you draw a mask. Some places are not giving a perfect curve path like this. So let's see how to solve it. So select your last point and you can see this line. So I select this circle point. Then hold the Alt key and you can move this line like this. So if you use a long line, it gives a more curved path. If you use a short line it gives a straight line. So this option helps a lot when we draw masks. So guys that's all about pen tool masking. So now I'm going to show you a simple sky replacement tutorial using a pen tool. First, I add my image to the timeline. Then I select the pen tool and draw the area I want. Then I add my second clip to the timeline. Then I adjust it like this. Then I adjust colors in this both layers. Okay, then I adjust mask settings like this. Okay guys this is the simple way to replace sky using the pen tool. So I think I have covered all the details about the pen tool in Filmora 12. So guys thanks for watching this video. So if you want to learn more like these Filmora tutorials, please like this video, hit the subscribe button, and turn on the notification for my latest updates, and also leave a comment about what do you think of this video. So see you guys in the next vid. Take care and peace.